People are really excited to change the status quo and elect new leadership up and down the ballot. I will be the first openly gay African-American member of Congress in United States history. Much of what I do as an elected official when it comes to constituent service is distributing food, personal protective equipment. The fact is, for most of my life, I never imagined that I could run for Congress, let alone get elected. I grew up in the Baptist church for most of my life until I was around 24 years old. I worked really hard to hide the fact that I'm gay. I get messages from folks all across this country on social media saying that my running as an openly gay candidate, including as an openly gay African-American candidate, is helping them to come to terms with who they are and to live authentic lives. And the fact is that when I was growing up, struggling with the question of whether there was a place for me in a world filled with so much injustice, had I been able to look to someone like myself in the halls of Congress, it would have been direct evidence of the fact that things really do get better when you get older. We live in a country that has not come close to rooting out systemic racism. I grew up in Section 8 housing and on food stamps. And my young single mom still had to work multiple jobs just to provide for our family. I know what it is like to struggle in this broken economy. And the fact is, this economy was broken for the vast majority of American households even before Donald Trump got elected in 2016. And we really make a mistake, I think, as, as Democrats in the House uh, and elsewhere uh, to overlook the fact that we need big structural changes even after we get Donald Trump out of office to materially improve the lives of families like the one I grew up in.